This is a lovely hike through the forest to reach Cascada Sibarco, a perfect option for a hot day. The second point is just outside the International Camping Olympia, which, by the way, is a great campsite to spend a couple of days. Most of the elevation is gained quickly after starting, and the rest of the hike takes you through a beautiful valley until you reach the waterfall. Did I mention that you can go under the waterfall? Yeah, it's pretty cool. On the way down, make sure to follow the river to avoid going up until you're back where you started. Oh, and don't forget to find the picnic spot by the river. The views are really great here. An excellent hike that covers several famous points but sees a few crowds. Your starting point is near Lagazoa cable car and as soon as you set off, you will start making your way up towards Averu Peak passing Lago de Limites on your left. As you go up, hiking will be increasing in difficulty and you will cover some rocky terrain, so good hiking boots here a must. Just when you approach the Averro Peak, the views will open up and you will shortly see Refugio Novel Co. in the distance. After the pit stop at the Refugio, your next target is Scenic Tori Peaks. It's really hard to miss them, so head down towards them. From here, you can take one of the forest trails going down quite steeply and after an hour, you will find yourself back where you started. If you're out and about around Sela Pass, this is a must-do. The loop takes you around the beautiful mountain range, but never feels too hard. The scenery changes a lot, from mountain passes to forests, from traversing steep slopes to rocky mountain valleys. It's best to do it anti-clockwise as you get to enjoy a pit stop at the refugee before making your way down. And if you found this video insightful, I think you're really gonna love my Dolomites on Wheel playlist, so check it out.